Yeah, really anywhere you go across central Indiana, with the exception of Lafayette and Peru, you haven't seen a whole lot in the way of rainfall. It is a very, very wet morning for us. Uh, the heaviest of the rain has been south of Interstate 70, and that's where the heaviest of the rain continues to fall at this hour. Here's a live look at the bigger picture. But let's head to Greensburg down towards Seymour, and this is where our stronger storms are this morning. Uh, none of these storms are severe, but quite a bit of lightning from Seymour to just north of North Vernon right now over towards the Greensburg area with some pockets of heavier rainfall. And I wouldn't be surprised maybe right along this leading edge that we're dealing with a little bit in the way of some gusty winds. But again, we are not expecting any additional severe thunderstorm warnings. I think if I had to pick one stretch of roadway here across central Indiana that is going to be impacted the most over the next 15 to 20 minutes, it will be Interstate 70. Anywhere you go from Terre Haute all the way here into Indianapolis, look at the uh, decent heavy, or I should say the moderate to heavy rainfall right along this stretch of roadway. And then as you work your way towards the Rockville area, we're dealing with some pockets of heavier rain as well and decent rainfall just now moving back into the downtown area. It lightens up as you work your way from Carmel to Noblesville, back over towards the Lebanon area. And then again, it's that sharp cutoff in between Peru and Kokomo here with just some light rainfall and then some uh, moderate rain as you work your way from Muncie. But look at some of these rainfall totals uh, just over the past three hours. As you work your way down into portions of Monroe County, into Greene County, nearly four inches of rain has fallen. Nearly three inches of rain as you work your way into portions of southern John Johnson County, and then as you work into Shelby and Rush County, nearly two inches of rainfall. And that's why the National Weather Service does have these flood warnings that are issued uh, for the entire uh, strip that I just mentioned, all the way from Greene County into portions of Wayne County. Again, rainfall totals north of Interstate 70 have been a lot less. So this storm system continues to make its way off towards the east, but the rain does extend all the way back into portions of Illinois and even into Missouri. And this is all slowly going to lift its way through. So your morning commute is going to be very, very slow. I think the storms are not strong, but the impact and the timing is very high. Temperatures hold pretty steady in the 60s to right around 70 degrees with those pockets of heavier rainfall. So as we transition into the afternoon hours, the heaviest of the rain will come to an end. The storms become a little more spotty in nature as we head towards the three o'clock hour. So as you look at your planner for the day today, some strong storms this morning tapering off to scattered showers and storms heading into the afternoon hours with high temperatures today. That'll top off below normal right around 80 degrees.